All right, guys. So I tested this. Uh, it's a logic puzzle game which requires 3D vision. Something that's how we used to call it uh, where I used to work. But I used to work in in a field pretty much tied to engineering and uh, steel construction back in the day. So I do have some experience with that, but I was so tired today that I, I didn't perform that well. I still got the puzzles down, but uh, I wasn't focused. And probably the mistake for me was that I went directly into the challenge, which basically shares the puzzles with the Zen mode. The only difference is in the challenge, you have a limited number of moves and there is no redo there is one undo which only takes you back one move which uh, if you made two wrong moves that means you have to reset the puzzle and do it again and that takes some time uh, i will get into one of the levels and explain you how things work but if you prefer to learn a game from start because this is one of those games it gives you some hints uh, but sub subtle you know like picking up uh, something from the floor it tells you basically that you should go there but only by the fact that it was blinking you know that was your I actually went the other way the first time because uh, or oh, you'll see in one of the squares there is something that rotates and in any game the rotating thing is uh, is a boost or something you know a buff a power up <laughs> and i kept trying to get that one first it took me a minute until i figured out that i got a i got to go get the stamp from the floor <laughs> yeah so we will go directly to the sixth one that i solved i may try to solve the seventh because i kind of feel a bit fresh right now when i'm talking but uh, as i said if you want to experience the game by yourself and learn the rules by yourself i would say this is a good uh, thing to try this is a good game to try get the demo do it for yourself if you want to know some of the rules that i picked up in these six uh, levels i will start saying them right now all right so basically you only con use controller in this one or keyboard yeah w a s t arrows uh, z uh, and R for reset, Z for one step back. Okay, and that's it. You see you have a limited number of moves. Uh, if you get stuck over here in challenge, go back in Zen mode, learn the solution, optimize it, and then come back over here. Because otherwise, if you do it too many times, you know, it might be frustrating. I imagine later the levels will be a bit bigger and more complicated okay now you see this uh yeah this cube it has some deeper stamps into it uh with those sides you pick up the glowing uh, models from the floor and you have to deliver them in the into the right place yeah the 3d vision that i was talking about uh, at the beginning involved here means that you have to make the cube face that uh, delivery zone all right properly in order to transfer that uh, incandescent model all right so this is what i was talking about when i saw that x rotating over that cube I thought that was the priority. <laughs> I kept going there and going there and insisting. I figured out in the end that I had to pick that up also from the floor. But uh, still, my first instinct was why are those things rotating? I have to get there now. 
Uh, all right, and you'll notice that the transparent floors are actually disappearing when you pass over. I think I remember this solution perfectly right now. Let's see if I get it first try. Uh, did I consume anything? Let's reset. Let's reset. Okay. Let's reset. All right. You have a transparency tool to show you how everything is oriented. I'm not sure. Uh, probably the other faces, which have also an X and a square on them, will be used in a more complicated level. Uh, yeah, I think this one can be a real challenge. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's a good fit for people who really want challenging puzzles. Okay, we got that glowing X. All right. Now, uh, let me see, all right, the point is we have to make the X uh, stand over there so we can deliver it. So it took me a lot of, it took me some tries. First I took the shorter path without thinking, even though I, it was obvious it wasn't uh, possible, but we have to go like this. Uh, like this and you'll see the tiles disappearing yeah now we are in the right position so if we roll the cube we deliver that glowing X and now the next one all right oh they made this cube easier because usually uh, these uh, symbols are only on one side the other side is different so it doesn't apply when you go over the glowing thingies but in this one they considered that we need on both sides okay it's actually all right I think this covers it let's try to get the other one if it takes me too long to solve it because it's new for me and I actually don't know what those thingies are those are new all right if it takes me too long i'll probably edit it and you'll get the shorter version let me see i'm just testing right now so obviously if i go and get that text i will get it i'm positioned perfectly see the X is on the side now so now if I roll I'll get it okay I took the X huh huh let me see let me see let me I have to have the X below to pass I wonder I think so uh, I didn't play this one at all I think I have to have the glowing side of oh I think I have to have an X with the part that is touching uh, that thing we can reset it and try it after okay we delivered the X uh, we want to get Oh, this one went actually pretty easy uh, up to this point. All right. All right, let me think. We have 10 more moves. And we have to make it as that, uh, that square. To be on the side towards that box okay so we can deliver it now I need to think a bit about this so yeah I don't want to reset it I want to do it in the first try uh, let me think so I do have 10 moves uh, but the point is I will need one two three more moves in order to move from the blue 
square to from the blue cube towards the exit so basically i have seven moves in which i have to deliver the the blue glowing square so let me think okay mm. no no so one to the right one two three four five six let's see so okay i'm gonna try something let's see if i can oh i can't move oh, over there i was missing something okay uh... all oh, right a bit of guessing, a bit of vision, <laughs> and I covered it. And I left three moves. Yeah, I did it. Did it in the first try, but I, I did take a break just to think about it. All right. I move, took a lot of moves. That one is more efficient to put the X down. Right, so this is the most efficient way to put the X down. Okay. Oh. All right, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I should have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the solution. Yeah, I had another try in which I placed the X, but I didn't think ahead on uh, where the glowing uh, square will be. So I ended up with it uh, in the wrong place. But right now I did it correctly. <laughs> So this is it guys, let's stop here. Uh, Alright guys, so I wanted to redo the outro because you know how I can get, I can talk for hours if I don't have a predetermined script. So basically I think this game is quite a challenge, it, it can become more challenging. But sadly the Steam forums for this one has absolutely no discussions. I couldn't tell you how many puzzles the game will have on release. I, all I see is in this demo we have 12. Okay. By comparison, in the tiny, teeny tiny trains, uh, we saw how many puzzles will be included in the game. We just didn't have them unlocked. Over here I see no way to get that number. Okay, uh, the dev has some uh, gameplay, uh, he shows resolving every puzzle possible in one of his broadcasts, so you might want to check this out. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, recorded or it's voiced though. Okay, and... Uh, yeah, it seems like it's going, uh, it's growing into complexity and it might be good. It might be a good challenge for people who like hard puzzles. But at this point, we have no information about the amount of content in this game. All right. So maybe try the demo, see how you like it. Keep it in your wish list, and uh, we'll see on release. 
Ah, what's what? And by the way, I figured out those uh, things on the floor. You just have to have the proper thing load up onto your cube in order to pass. There is no face requirement uh, when you step on them, you know? You just have to have one of those glowing things. Uh, in the case of the orange ones, you have to have the X loaded on the cube so you can pass. And in the, in the, uh, for the blue ones, you have to have the glowing square loaded up on the cube so you can pass. You can see in this level, level 9, but I'm stopping here. I'm, I don't have time anymore. I put enough time into this demo. I need to move on after. But you'll notice uh, the new thing that appeared, that's a teleport. I'm not showing it to you. Uh, maybe you should see it because I recorded the outro and I let the old uh, recording go at the same time. Uh, yeah, the new thing that appeared is the orange uh, thing and you can teleport a cube around. So that one adds some depth. I would suggest that this type of uh, puzzles is one in which because you have to make some effort in uh, getting the rules, in understanding the rules, in observing them, you know, I think this is one of those puzzles uh, for which if you play with the big breaks between the sessions like weeks or something, you should actually consider uh, making a small page with rules for it. So you pick up uh, the rules again before you start. Uh, so you don't have to play through the whole uh, um, initial puzzles again. Or just play them in one week or whatever it takes you geniuses. <laughs> Maybe it takes you one hour to do everything. I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking about the full game now, not uh, about the demo. And uh, yeah, so basically there are two ways to go about it. Either with journal and big breaks and come back for small doses and just do it uh, entirely in uh, about the same period of time without big breaks all right thank you guys for watching this was it uh, it's interesting i'll keep an eye on it but as i said we don't know how much content it will be in this one and we'll just have to wait bye bye